All right, so we got Redfall, the final preview. Let's get right to the video, man. Man said, I can do this forever. The town is littered with stories of people who were attacked by or turned into vampires when the vampire gods took over the once charming island town. Right. Wandering through dark spaces with only a flashlight to guide the way heightens tension even when armed. Developer Arcane Austin knows how to craft a menacing Oh my god. However, the odds changed. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Players join the adventure. Together, we made quick work of vampires, their cult followers, okay. and the mercenary group intent on taking us Hey, man, down. this gives me, like, Instead Left for Dead vibes, bro. I can't lie. Dark, there was camaraderie, and what was once a potentially chilling challenge through an infested city became a hunting party ready to take on the biggest baddies with guns and powers blazing. Oh, man, again, lit up. I had the pleasure of playing about four hours of Redfall on PC with one, two, and three additional co op Oh, this man got the In footage time, for the, He played for four hours? Community Center took on the procedurally generated vampire nests, fought mini bosses, okay. and did plenty of exploring. My temporary teammates at Arcane Austin indulged me in trying out the hard difficulty. Ooh, ooh who are settled, these? Look at they co they got the Donald Trump coats on, bro. That's crazy. The Redfall developers have made it abundantly clear at this point that despite having the look of some other looter shooters or four-player co-op games, yeah. Redfall is still an arcane game. Sure, there are limited abilities per character and stealth isn't as big of a factor, but the storytelling and simulated world are all there. You'll randomly stumble across a vampire feasting on an unfortunate victim, Opposing factions suddenly break out in gunfire. Okay, I kind of like the shooting right now. You'll hear enemies discuss their plans for the future. Yeah, I kind of like the shooting. Still feels true with two player co ooh, ooh, who's that? Play time at Arcane Austin was with creative director Ricardo Bear, who played as Jacob, a former mercenary turned solo sniper. Okay, now nah, he looks legit. And Raven to go with it. He looks I legit. Devinder, a cryptid hunter who came to Redfall for a book signing. Man's hair was slick. He had all types of blue magic in his hair. The town. I picked up the controller and promised Bear I'd rein in my worst gaming tendencies. Oh, Lord. Scanning the contents of a shop for spare health in imaginary junk food my character doesn't need but deserves. Smoochies. Enemy patterns to scheme the best way to eliminate them as efficiently as possible. I'm on fire. Up in here is Rudin. I'm on fire. With only one other person on the adventure, more often than not, I felt like we were partner detectives. Redfall. Wait, so like it's they're not it's not a attacked, though we didn't spend much time with the main Redfall. It's not four player? No, is this. In order to defeat the now reigning vampire gods of Redfall, we must first understand who they were before they turned. Then we can strike. Oh, yeah, like solve before mysteries and stuff go, before you kill the boss. Of fun coordinating attacks against lesser but still powerful vampires and their followers. Okay. I did get to liberate the Redfall Maritime Center from a menacing blood tree, though. It was a quick fight with some loot and story beats as a reward. Uh -oh. With the center free, we were able to collaborate with the civilians to establish another main base of operations. Okay. Working with the people of Redfall is not only a major story element, but a nice general theme that's apparent through all its parts. For instance, instead of getting money, you earn support. The currency is earned by completing objectives and finding useful items that go back to the folks hiding in safe houses. Oh, okay. Toilet paper has a higher value than, say, a creepy doll or a wedding ring. Get ready. The power of three, okay. Layla joined us next. Oh, Layla. Her psychic abilities are versatile. What's your name? Let me talk to you. She can call in her vampire ex-boyfriend to help slay enemies. Combat balance with three she just called she just called in her side dude challenged more special vampires the best chance we had at a Talk about some her ex-boyfriend man he's still going crazy on side quests we did one that I thought you was with me tree, but this time red Falls who was that waited inside the tree as it's oh I like that I like that I like that I like that who was that right there when taking on three is that Layla with the umbrella I like that and real in one player but it still got some pulls on us that we were able to quickly counter. During our time taking on cult camps, 
We encountered other special vampires among Holy their ranks. White. These included things like the Shroud, a tricky vampire that casts a dark bubble over ooh, players, ooh, ooh. limiting their field of vision with a dark purple wall. Wait, why also though? Throw attacks that can be rather damaging. Oh, I was to say so the image can still see you. That's crazy. Vampire that floated around with sacks of blood that, when destroyed, does explosive damage. Hey, I like that ability that Layla got, bro. That that uh that umbrella, I like that, bro. I like that little design. Vampire gods. A meter shows up as a reminder. Once full, the rook appears. Who's that? The only way to be rid of a rook is to either die or kill it. Like other special vampires, Obviously. the rook can teleport and has its own special abilities, like summoning the thunderstorm that does heavy damage if you stay outside. However, kiting indoors poses its own challenges. As okay, nah, so the rook, the rook is just... Oh my god, just tough for no reason. A guaranteed unrivaled drop, the most powerful kind of weapon in Redfall. Okay. Random enemies getting dragged into a rook fight or any boss fight certainly makes these encounters more challenging, but even that changes when four heroes are in the party. Four makes a chaotic good game a good time. Okay, so it's actually Our four. Okay, and nice. Final player joined in as Remy. Let's make it quick then. The last of the four characters available at Because I thought he said at first well, yeah, they're not going to have four people. Her robot partner Brabone can distract enemies. She's got C4 to explode enemies from afar. And Ooh. her ultimate serves as a massive buff to revive And she had the soldier 76 uh ultimate. All not ultimate, um the healing thing. The co-op dynamic is as chaotic as you'd imagine it. Though it was also easy to pair off and approach objectives creatively. Sometimes oh my god. One of us would use a cool UV weapon to turn a vampire to stone from afar, giving oh, the other an opportunity to finish off with a satisfying. Uh, okay, I mean, that, that depends on how you play. I, I imagine a lot of people are not going to play like that, though. Character, nor is any character limited on the weapons they can use, making character selection a person. Hey, man, I'm rocking with Layla. Strategic choice, too. The main new challenge and don't ask me why. We as a group was fighting our way through vampire nests. These procedurally generated challenges only take a few minutes to get through and don't necessarily involve combat. In our run, we got the basic blood trance nest characteristic. What's that? One that meant all vampires were asleep and would wake upon being attacked or if we touched the blood tendrils connecting them to the nest. We carefully I'm touching that. them, destroying the heart at the end of the nest to trigger its collapse and gathered a ton of loot before making our escape. If you don't leave before the nest completely destabilizes, you'll only lose the bonus experience that's awarded for successfully escaping. Okay. Nests provide an interesting gameplay element. Hey, nah, this looks good though, I can't lie. Their territory is marked by a field that gives a buff to all vampires within its vicinity, making the area more dangerous. The longer a nest is left alone, the larger wow. its territory becomes. Arcane Austin studio director Harvey Smith told me that other nest characteristics include things like a completely dark version filled with the sleeping vampire traps and even nests with fire hazards everywhere. Coast I can't lie, a dark version? Despite Ooh. Despite playing on the hard difficulty, mini boss challenges... Oh no, I'm not playing a hard version. ...easy to take on with four people. Instead of requiring a... Yeah, okay, now nah, that is a little overkill. Yeah, four, four people on hard is, is nothing. ...filled the monster with bullets. Bear did say Arcane is constantly tuning difficulty, and I even heard. Yeah, nah, nah. This man's getting lit up like the Fourth of July, bro. He can't even move. He wanted to make. We weren't on the final build either, which was noticeable with some graphical glitches and hitches. But that's not too. What is this? What gun is this? And as with most what did he just put in that gun? Bear said they'd be listening to the Redfall community. That man just put in uh, an, 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 uh, 4K TV antenna scraps in that gun, bro. And who is this? There she is. It's not only their conversations, but also how they engage with the world. For example, each character plays instruments with Nah, bro, this is giving skill. straight Left 4 Dead vibes, bro. I cannot lie, bro. Delightful one that further immersed me in Comment down below if you guys agree with that. Or like the video if you guys agree with that, bro. This remind this remind me straight of Left Left 4 Dead. But exploration is still important. For instance, we found a series of bells that, when rung correctly, led to a secret area with loot and plenty of vampires to fight. Even with the additional time I got, so they, they, they can just cheat like that. No way they actually knew that. With weapon loadouts or skill trees, 
My time did confirm that when Redfall is out on May 2nd, I'll want to have multiple instances going. A solo playthrough mm. so I can explore corners and read notes to my heart's content, and at least one instance of a co-op game so I can learn more about all the characters. I'm still unsure. Or you, or you could just I go crazy. Play, I'm not running this by myself. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real. I'm scared. So that's not that scary. I'm joking. For more on Redfall, don't miss our single player preview. And for everything else in the world, I'm about to check out the single player preview. I can't lie. Oh, that's the end of it. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure you guys comment down below. What do you guys think of the uh, of the gameplay so far? I think it's pretty cool. Gave me a straight Left 4 Dead vibe. If I'm being real, I don't know. Just like, just the way, it, like it. Okay, like this little scene right here. Just like the layout, and like just the way, like uh, like the piano scene. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm just weird. But like the scene where like they were right in front of the piano, that gave me a straight just Left 4 Dead just. Just feeling. I cannot lie, but I just got just crazy nostalgia. Just, like just then, it's crazy. But other than that, the, uh, the game Redfall looks pretty good. I didn't know that it was dropping off in May. Though. I thought it was coming out late April. I thought it was about to come out either this week or uh, next week. But um, but yeah, it's, it's dropping off in May. Um, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna do pretty well, especially uh, on Twitch. That makes sense. I think this will be a a, a very good uh, co-op game. I feel like a lot of people aren't really gonna run this uh, solo. Um, but I feel like uh, this definitely looks fun, like with a lot of people. So, other than that, comment down below what you guys think of Redfall. And, um, yeah, see you guys later for the next one. I'm out and 